Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. We've been in the house just before 6.30 on this beautiful Monday. And oh boy guys, it sure has been a busy weekend here for us. I had to take the GMC with the dump trailer about uh, 45 minutes away here. The dump trailer, the hydraulic cylinder broke and I had to drop it off there at the shop. But let's get the truck warmed up here for a few minutes. Let's get on over to the shop because today we have a lot of lawns that need to get mowed. Like always guys, there's a full mod that's linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button, it's much appreciated. Wow guys, look at that, there's a lot of traffic this morning. Just trying to have to slowly leave my driveway here. Wow, uh, for a country road like this, it is a bit surprising that there's just so many cars here, especially this early in the morning. But like I mentioned guys, we don't have our dump trailer here. I think it's going to be at that shop for probably three to four days here. Hopefully we get it back soon because that is a very handy trailer for us. And we do need it coming up here as well. But I think someone's going to be using the uh, GMC here today. So I also wanted to get here early. But today we're going to be taking the F-250, the Big Tex, and a few zero turns. So let me get everything loaded up here. I also do need to bring some string trimmer line since I do believe... Uh, the uh, we are running low and we can't run out uh, halfway through a lawn the seasons sure are changing guys it is kind of a little cold here almost like you need to put a sweatshirt on uh, weather which is great here I am really excited for fall here the leaves are gonna be changing uh, within the next few months here we're gonna be doing fall leaf cleanups lots of cool things here with the business and I do have some really cool kind of seasonal related uh, uh, videos that we're going to be doing here on farm since so we got the trailer just need to get the mowers All right, we got everything we need just putting up the ramp here. So looking at my schedule, guys, the first lawn in today is going to be a new residential property we picked up to do full year-round service, leaf cleanup, snow removal, and everything in between. So let's go do that first here. But I have 10 on the list, and I do know the landscape trucks heading out here with a few employees to do, I think, about, I would say, 16 half-acre of property. So we are busy on this Monday. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far and a great summer. Like I mentioned, summer is coming to a close. And those that are going back to school, hope you are excited for it as well. And it should be a lot of fun here. But I'm just super excited uh, that we could really get into some more mowing and then soon the leaf cleanups because those are a lot of fun. And the mowers definitely get uh, put to work quite a lot here trying to mulch up all the leaves. Alright, we're here at the property just trying to find a nice safe spot for us to get, uh, get pulled off to the side here. Now one thing guys, I really do like the trucks with strobe lights here. I think it's a really good safety feature, especially on the side of the road here. But most of our properties are about an acre that we're mowing today. And that is why I brought the two big mowers with me. The John Deere uh, 72 inch and the Grasshopper here. We'll get right to mowing though because like I mentioned guys, we are super busy today. Hopefully I can get done by 5. If everything goes well here. Let's see, let's see. Why don't we get started on this side? We'll have to get the deck lowered down there and get right to mowing here. But like always, there is a full mods list linked down below here. I try to update it as much as I can with all the latest mods here. And you guys seem to be really liking it, which is great to hear uh, that feedback here. And I, I think it's a really helpful tool to those. I uh, want to uh, uh, play farming similar just like I do with the mods that I use as well. These bigger mowers guys make these uh, bigger properties go by pretty quick and they definitely do a great job. This zero turn we've had since we actually started the business here. I think we bought this one fairly uh, uh, used. It was just a pretty recent purchase that they bought for a year or two but we picked it up. It's been running ever since. Alright, we're making pretty good progress here. We'll have to weed eat underneath that canopy here with the roll bar up on this here. That would not be a good thing. That would definitely end up damaging that and possibly 
uh, scratching our mower here. Oh, look at that, a small little uh, area there. That looks to be a chair on a swing there. That's pretty neat. Oh boy, guys. Oh boy, we just ran over this rock here. Look, there was grass on it. Wow, the mower just cut off instantly here. That is not a good sign here. Oh, I see a few bolts. Uh-oh, uh guys. I wonder what happened here. Wow, I did not even see this rock here. I was uh, paying really good attention, but I just couldn't see it here. You could even see the grass on it. Wow, G uh, good thing this happened uh, uh, while I was on the site. And not one of the employees uh, called me asking me to rush over there. So let's see if we get to get on the mower here. Let's see if we get turned on. All right, so it turns on here. Let's not engage the uh, blade. We'll just pull forward, actually. Let's go over to the trailer, put it halfway up. Let's see uh, if there's any damage here. Really don't want to turn it on unless we know the mower's okay. All right, so I've seen this trick quite a few times on YouTube where you put one wheel up. Oh yeah, that is gonna work out. We'll put the parking brake, get it turned off. Let's look underneath. Oh boy, guys, we broke two spindles. The blade is broken in half, and we are missing quite a few bolts here. Wow, this is one expensive fix. Probably a few thousand dollars uh, for the spindles. The belt is broken. Wow, that was a really big impact there. Mowing at about 10, 11 miles per hour right into a, a rock. Uh, hitting a rock is a pretty bad damage. So let's move this off to the side. We got to get this uh, lawn uh, finished here, and then we'll actually go drop this off here. I will make a phone call quick and just let them know uh, that the local dealer that we're going to be dropping it off because that is something we just can't fix. Guys, I just got off the phone. They said to bring it right by here. They take really good care of uh, my business since I do buy quite a few things from them. So we'll go there next here in between. It's actually on the way to the next one. So we aren't really losing too much time. But luckily I brought another uh, mower with me because our shop is on the other side of town. I guess, guys, we just have bad luck on Mondays here. It seems like every Monday something is happening, something is going wrong, uh, breaking something, uh, or anything in between here. So maybe we just should not uh, do much uh, work on Mondays other than give some quotes here. But hey, we got to keep going. And these little hiccups along the way is just uh, kind of part of it. And you just have to learn to adapt here. And luckily, we had a second mower to get right back to work. We'll get right alongside the house here now. I'm going to have to uh, talk to the customer here, see if they could clean up some of these things here in the yard because there's so many things. And I'm going to ask them about this rock, uh, see if they want us to bring an excavator by to dig it up. Or I'm just going to have to put some markers on it, like some small flags or some small stakes, just so that we don't end up running over it again. That wouldn't be too good there, but that does happen occasionally when you're mowing it for the first time. But wow. All right, guys, we just got this mowed, so why don't we get them loaded up? Let's go swing by the local John Deere dealer. Right there, should be good here now with two big 72-inch mowers, especially that grasshopper on this 22-foot trailer here. They just barely fit. Luckily, I bought a pretty big trailer. They always say to buy a few feet uh, bigger. Always build a bigger shop than what you need because you just end up using it. And guys, I just try to do that. Otherwise, you just have to kind of keep rebuying it. But let's get over to a local deer dealer. On the phone, guys, the person at the dealership did say that they do have the parts in stock here, which is good because we still have about 50 lawns that need to get mowed, and that is one of our main mowers. So this will be a really good if we don't have much downtime here, but you always have to work around it. And that is also why I have so many machines here, a few of each type. That way, if one breaks down, you could always just use another one move it from job site to job site but wow was not expecting this here it's not even 9 a.m and we already broke something just wow all right we should be good there they said to just leave it out front and they already know that uh we are here because i told them i'm busy and like i mentioned they work really well with us here so let's just uh put it here i also do want to put the broken parts here that i put up on the trailer all right let me grab those just set them there so wow like i mentioned guys hopefully we get this mower back but i'm gonna get back to mowing and i think i'm probably gonna put down the camera here so until next time guys 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for an next one and subscribe for more.